Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Hot Toys six scale figure of the First Order Stormtrooper from Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I do like that there's a little bit of like little reflective material right there in the Star Wars logo. If you are an articulation junkie, then you might be disappointed by this figure because the range of motion within the articulation is pretty limited. But me, simpleton that I am, don't really collect hot toys for articulation. I like them because they have great detailed costumes and really realistic head sculpts and, and paint jobs. So this figure doesn't really have like, you know, a, a head to really uh, look at. It's just like armor, but I like the Stormtrooper armor a lot. That's primarily why I'm getting this, is because I want an awesome figure with nice detailed armor, and detailed armor this is. I mean, if you just look at the belt and all the little doodads on the belt, and the thing on the back here, it's really strong work, even like the little ribbing on the belt there. There's really, really subtle little ribbing going along there. Really good work. Um, and just the paint on the back section here too. Really, really strong paint, considering how simple the paint is, just like, you know, stuff like that, right there on the arms and on the armor. but. The detail, not just in the armor, but in the undersuit. We've got this little rubbery outfit underneath. You can see the armpits and the elbows and uh, around the knee area. And it's kind of rubbery and flexible. I like the ribbing. And then you get to the leather section underneath his crotch area and under the torso, which you can kind of see right there at the shoulder area. But I like that the, uh, the little ribbing here is a zipper. Like, I don't plan on undressing the character and taking the armor off, but I like that there is a seam and a zipper there. It's a nice little detail. Now... The articulation that I was talking about is a bit limited because I think of this little rubber outfit underneath. Like that's about all you can get his elbow to bend. Not even like a full hard angle. Um, same thing with his legs. The knees bend pretty good, but not quite all the way as far back as I'd like. And then you also have some pretty limited range of motion here. That's about as far as you can get his legs to spread and come forward and back. So if you want to get him like in a squatting position with his blaster, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. But the shoulders are pretty good. You can get him in a pretty good T-pose. It helps that these little armor plates lift up. But uh, there's decent range of motion underneath this uh, chest section here. Can't get him to bend all the way down, but you get a little bit of motion. Um, the best motion is actually in the head with the ball joint in the helmet. And you do get his neck to kind of pivot forward. And you can get his head to you know move forward and back along with the neck. So those two joints are nice. Um, Another thing worth mentioning is his feet. They're made of like a rubber material, but they read like leather. Like, I think they read like leather. The light may be washing out, but there is like slight kind of leathery cracking to it. So I think that texture is cool. They say that there's this little joint where you can bend his toes like 20 degrees forward. I can barely get them to move and then stay. Like that joint may be there, but it doesn't really work. That whole 20 degree bend angle, but I do like the fabric they're made of, so that's nice. But I do think that overall, forgetting the articulation, this armor just looks great. The detail within it, like just the little clips right there on his arm joints, on the bicep, the little nicks, you know, like that little, I don't want to call it a neck because it's in, intentional, but this little dent there looks good. The lines of the armor on the stomach area look great. The little side section here where his blaster goes, Speaking of his blaster, this figure comes with two blaster accessories. You got the smaller pistol here, which looks just freaking awesome. I love the little tiny use of red paint right there. It kind of breaks up the black and the white. But the handle, the grip, the little ribby rib things on the side, uh, the little bolts here on the back with the little silver paint, just looks great. I love this. But I think I love this blaster even more. Um, the little use of red on the front. There's some really nice details here. The black bolts, the little textured grip on the side. And the fact that this little hingy thing comes forward. There's a lot of nice details on this. You also get an open palm hand. Um, and then you got blaster hands for holding the, the blasters. And you get a pair of fist hands for, you know, going fisticuffs with, you know, rebel scum and all that. And you get this extra pair of wrist pegs. Now, one thing that's cool is there's a magnet inside the blaster and a magnet on the inside of that thigh piece. So both of the blasters can rest on the side of his armor. And I think that looks pretty cool. Also, I think the figure in general just looks good holding the blaster. And I like that they fit into the hand really easily and the finger lines up with the trigger really well. 
I should probably point out that the figure comes with a figure stand, and the arm fits into that little hole in the back really easily. It's a very basic little stand, but I do like that it's got the First Order logo on it, as it should. Um, I'm going to be using the figure stand with this figure because I found that my figure's ankle joints are really loose. Like, the knees and the elbows and all that are kind of restricted by the by the, the black suit underneath, but the ankle joints are so loose he's constantly wanting to tip over or tip back. It's kind of annoying. What's not annoying, though, is the helmet on this thing. I freaking love this helmet. I think the detail within it is just fantastic. That little uh, dotted texture in the mouth area looks so good. And I thought they did a really good job with the little brackets right there in the side of the helmet. His little breathing port, the little silver paint looks good. That line going around the edge of his like duck bill, because to me this does look like Donald Duck a bit. Um, the black lines going on the side, the black paint against white, very, very well done on this figure. Again, the articulation you've seen, this is the best articulation on the figure, is underneath the helmet and at the neck. But as a fan of this helmet, as a fan of this design, I just loved the way this helmet turned out. And I also like the fact that the articulation on this figure at least allows me to get his arms up to like a good blaster pose. Because um, I was afraid maybe they wouldn't come together enough. But they do. So that's nice. At least you can turn his head and have them kind of like facing a direction with the blaster. I do think that the details within the hands are really good too. Like, these hands actually have a lot of nice little details within them as far as like the black and the white and like the texture of the, uh, the glovings, like the basic little pads underneath them. I think that it's a really, really solid sculpt. You get a sense of the fabric and you get a sense of really good sculpt and paint. Overall, I gotta say that I'm really happy with this figure. And yeah, his articulation is a bit limited, but I still stand by it. I like this figure. I did try, once again, to get his uh, legs to bend a bit, because I want to get him in a squat position. Even though he can bend his ankles and knees, you just can't get those hip joints to move, so that's a bit of a bummer. But, decent range of motion at the arms. Um, he's got some cool hands to, like, you know, put in, and I think that the blaster hands and his open palm hand looks really cool. But, again, what sells me on this is the armor. I love the armor. It looks badass. This Hot Toys figure looks badass. If you can get it at a decent price, I think it's a pretty good bang for your buck if you appreciate the armor as much as I do. Thanks for watching, folks, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff.